Hey you guys, it's Anne Marie. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull um, and some more cards from the fourth deck. This is the light dark, or is it light dark? Yeah, the dark light oracle. I got a very strong message last time about people wearing masks, um, trying to mask your innate abilities and your gifts. Be very careful, the people around you. Oh, blah, 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 my so-and-so would never do that to me. I'm sure you're right. I'll be damned. You saw me shuffling, right? Masks. Masks came out again. That or you're wearing a mask. Are you wearing a mask? Can we get it? Guardian Angel 27. I love these cards, but they're so dark. Count on my protection. Look at this. This motherfucker in the background. Look at this demon. Look at this demon. I'm trying to get her. She got a guardian angel. You're protected. Number 27. Nine. You are divinely protected. If you have good intentions, you guys know who you are. People who have good intentions who don't. You walk and you lead with love and you always have good intentions, know that you are fucking protected. You are protected. The one that came out the sideway. How <laughs> consuming art. Is that an expression of that? Ah. Uh, wow. Number 28. Wow. Express or die. I just want to say real quickly and make this about me. I'm really in my feelings with these cards. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's like all these cards are all like kind of coming together. So if you haven't watched the other videos, maybe you might want to watch them because I feel like a lot of them are continuing this story. It's like the story of uh, what your challenges have been since before you were born energies around you, putting your energy on a budget, recognizing who's there for you, who's not. The more you fight whatever this is, the more you fight this flow of really taking off your own blinders, seeing things as they truly are. Either you step into that or die. I mean, not like die, but you know, it's like maybe your soul or spirit. I know for me, the more I wore masks and tried to mask my abilities, this happened my whole life, the more I masked them, the more I tried to pretend they weren't there, the more I tried to numb them by taking pain pills so I could not see spirits. <laughs> I got tired of just knowing things about people because, <laughs> of course, the energies I was around, you know, but... I, I got, I got, you know, tired of knowing things because then I would ignore it. And then what I was ignoring really happened. And I was like, well, you know, spirit was trying to tell you, but I chose to, uh, take pain pills for about 10 years. And what I've learned is that by repressing these things, by not speaking my truth, by not stepping into my power, by not doing this deep, deep shadow work, spending hours and hours, countless hours by myself. And most of the time it was because I wanted to, it was because people put me there, but I'm grateful for it. Now I'm grateful for it. I'm telling you, the more you put on your own mask and fake the funk, what your spirit and soul really wants. Maybe you grew up in a family that, and this is like a silly example, but let's say you grew up in a family, all they listened to was honky tonk country music, right? Like it was like, I don't know, like say there's, it, it was like, almost like a religion. I don't know. Like it was like really like listen to it all the time. And let's say, you know, you hated it your whole life. You're just like this fucking music keeps people stuck. This depressing music. I like, you know, hip hop, something like completely opposite, you know, that really <clears throat> feeds my soul. But, you know, you just never tell anybody, you never tell anybody because everyone's going to think this about you or say this about you because you like that kind of music or you like to dress this way or whatever it is, okay? 
and you keep repressing it and pressing it. You just wear a mask. Just smile. I only got to be with them for an hour. Da, 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 da. It's going to eat your soul. It's going to eat your soul because you're not letting you, living your authentic self. I'm a true testament. I know plenty of people who are true testaments to this. The more you fight what's supposed to be every time you agree into a contract with someone they say something makes you mad and you respond negative to you, boom you sign that contract to give them your energy when someone says a little smart aleck thing to you and it kind of hurts you but you just kind of like blow it off and not listen to your intuition takes a piece of you and then you'll get to a point like I did I am I am now I don't give a fuck because <laughs> you have to speak your truth Whatever that is for you. If you've been the one wearing the masks, it's only going to make your stomach more upset. If you notice how you start to get anxiety, you get your stomach rumbles, it gets really upset before you go to someone's house or after or where you're doing an activity you really don't fucking like anymore, but you have to, you know, you feel like you have to because your whole family has been in rugby for their whole life. I don't know, but you hate it. The more you fight against it, it's like a piece of your soul. It's just like, like flying away. Because you're not living authentically. It's not happiness. And you wonder why you're not happy. I'll just go buy this. I'll feel better. Temporarily. Because anything outside of ourselves that we seek for happiness it's temporary. It's temporary. Anything we seek outside of ourselves to give us happiness is false. It's an illusion. True happiness comes from going within. My happiness isn't determined. If people knew what I've been through this last year, they would wonder, actually my whole life, but since 2015, really since 2015, this past year, huh? I've really, really learned this. It's time to take off your mask. You're protected. Know that by truly speaking your truth, whatever that is for you, even if it's a quiet speaking your truth, like no longer participating in certain things, you're protected. You may not see your pillars, as I call them, pillars on, you know, that our spirit team. It's not always people we know. I mean, everyone has their own thing about it. It's for you to find out who your spirit team is, um, who your guardian angels are. But I tell you for 100% certainty, when you walk with love being your first goal, when your intentions are pure, by you stepping into this and it's not you stepping in and speaking your truth to hurt other people so you can get your own little justification well I'm just going to say this and act like that's, that's dirty spirit knows no matter what you do spirit knows that's why I had this conversation with myself I gaslight myself like da 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 I'm like Amory now you know damn well you can't do that you know damn well because <laughs> it's not leading with love and having pure intentions so I hope this message helped somebody if not please share it with somebody else who it may help um if you want a full in-depth powerful healing reading that will change your life please message me at saging of the soul at gmail.com to schedule have a great day thank you